Hi, I'm Todd Cole, Product Application Specialist for CAT D9 Dozers. Today I'm standing in front of the CAT D9GC, and I want to take a few minutes to cover some highlights with you. After 25 years of continuous production of the D9R, we're proud to introduce the CAT D9GC. It too falls into the same size class of 50 tons, 400 horsepower. Just like its predecessor, the D9GC is simple to operate, easy to service, and features the same mechanical powertrain and lever-operated controls that customers around the world have come to know. Let's first off start talking about how this dozer comes equipped with dual tilt cylinders. Standard is a single tilt, but going to the dual tilt gives you the ability not only to twist the blade, but also pitch the blade forward and backwards, giving you the ability to carry more material in each push. In a recent production study, we demonstrated 5% more material was moved with the ability to pitch the blade back. All right, well, let's talk a little bit, um, beginning off here with safety. So we now have standard push arm grab handles. This gives another point of contact for an operator to get onto the machine safely in addition to footsteps, grab handles throughout all the way up into the cab to maintain that three points of contact. Also from the ground, you can see the coolant level sight glass, giving you an indication that the, the coolant is full. We've removed the lift cylinders that require greasing. This is now a greaseless design, so no longer do you have to climb up there to grease it. On the lift cylinders are tie-off points, so when you do need to get up there, you can safely tie off to the machine working at height. On the other side of the dozer, we also have a hydraulic oil level sight glass viewable from the ground, and we now have a factory option, a strobe light beacon on top of the ROPS from the factory. Many customers around the world choose to have that, so that is now a factory option. Okay, well let's start uh, talking about undercarriage. Undercarriage can be one of the highest consumer of parts after the purchase of the dozer and fuel. So from the factory, we've got multiple options. This dozer is equipped with the 685 millimeter shoes, extreme service. There's many options when it comes to shoes. There's uh, wider shoes, more narrow shoes, uh, but also different service levels that affect how thick that shoe is, which translates into optimum life for the, the applications it's working in. Also underneath is the link assembly. This is the featured the heavy duty link assembly that's been around for many years, but we now offer heavy duty extended life, which gives you the 20 to 40% longer wear life. And it also comes with 8,000 hour seal life on the pin and bushing. Also available from the factory now is general duty undercarriage. Many different options to configure the undercarriage for the application. Let's talk a little bit about the elevated sprocket and the final drive here. So we have a couple options from the factory. We have the standard final drive, but we also offer a guarded final drive. That is on the inside there, it actually opens up the ceiling area a little bit. It works on the idea that dirt always finds its way into the seal, but it can't always find its way out. In muddy, packed applications, it is shown to do better against preventing leaks. That's in addition to the benefit of the fully suspended undercarriage, giving a soft, comfortable ride and keeping track on the ground for optimum traction and productivity. All right, moving on, let's talk about a few items on the rear here. This has a 6% larger fuel tank, giving you the ability for longer runtime and ability to work on slopes longer. This features the optional ground level fast fuel attachment while still retaining the ability to fill the fuel tank from the top side. This is a multi-shank ripper. We have multiple options, a single shank, single shank with a pin puller for ease of adjustment of the ripper, a multi-shank, a counterweight, even a winch is an offering on the rear. The multi-shank ripper is a, is a good choice for applications that are not extremely hard but need the ability to rip hard packed soils uh, or leave in loose rock. This D9 ripper uh, has a shank protector and a tip on it. Many, many options when it comes to tips and shank protectors depending on the application. Our ripper hydraulics here are virtually unchanged as well as the hydraulic system of this D9GC. 
still has load sensing hydraulics. All right, while we're back here, let's also talk about the view with the ripper. So as the operator is in the cab ripping, there is an actual cutout in the back of this ripper frame. That allows for the optimum view down to the ripper tip for a quick, efficient ability to get the ripper in the ground and be productive during ripping. All right, moving along here. At some point in all the dozer's life, someone has to crawl underneath the dozer and lower the bottom guards to remove debris or access components. We've now added a secondary retention on the bottom guards, giving it about 40 millimeters of travel in the case where the technician has to pry the, the belly pan down, improving the safety and serviceability of the dozer. This will pay customers for years to come as long as they own the dozer. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about a feature, a long time feature on our dozers. All elevated sprocket dozers have a tag link. That is a firm, rigid connection between the frame and the front of the blade. There's two features that brings. One is really rigid control of that blade from side to side, but it also allows a blade to come closer into, your, into the dozer. If you think about it, it's like holding a shovel and pushing down into the ground. You want it as close as to your body as you can get for maximum penetration. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the lighting options on the D9GC. We have two halogen light options, a six and an eight package, but we now also offer a 10 LED 2300 lumens per light. This is great lighting for working at night or areas that are tight with other equipment around. Really a great choice to consider. The radiator on the new D9GC has been changed to an all aluminum single piece radiator. Great piece about that, it is the same radiator that was used on the D9T series for many years. Proven out to be very reliable and efficient. With the change to this radiator, we also have changed the cooling fan. What used to be a mechanically driven belt fan is now a hydraulically driven fan and it is placed in a different position of the radiator. It now pulls air through the radiator compared to the older style that pushed air at the radiator. This will be seen as a benefit to less debris damage. Part of the new feature in the D9GC is now we have three offerings for side covers on the radiator. We have flat covers that just cover it. We have a step group, but we also have a quick opening door. We've removed it here, but in the case of the quick opening door, with no tools required, the operator can pull a lever and the door can swing open. Opening the door allows quick access to see if it's plugged, but also removal of that debris with a wand. The change of this radiator also led to a few other changes you may be thinking about, and that's the powertrain. So we've changed the radiator. Our engine, which is what a lot of customers want to know about, is virtually unchanged. While not compatible at a whole engine level, they are still interchangeable. We've changed in the new D9GC, it is now a tier one rating, and we've achieved that partially through an air-to-air -air after cooler. That also required a few changes on the engine, such as spin-on oil filters. All right, moving past the engine, we have the torque divider. Good news is that it is still the same long time efficient freewheel torque divider. Transmission, final drives are still all the same and very interchangeable with the D9Rs of the past. All right, moving around to the pushing in end of the dozer. In front of me here is the U abrasion blade. It offers the optional rock guard as well. When you choose the U abrasion blade, it adds this layer of extra steel for additional wear capacity, but it also adds additional uh, material thickness, the extended life cutting edges and end bits. The U blade is a really good choice. While many customers choose the SU blade, having the U blade gives you the ability to carry more material and take advantage of the strong weight to horsepower ratio of the D9 to still do some pioneering work while getting the boost of additional capacity. All right, while on the way up to the cab, I wanted to point out a few things.
In the engine bay here, we have the greasing location for the equalizer bar, but we also have the optional quick evac system for the engine and powertrain oil located in the engine compartment here. In the cab of the D9GC, we have the lever controls for the clutch and brake of the left and right track. New offering on the D9GC cab is a strobe light rocker switch. We have the reversing fan rocker switch as well as we now have an engine air filter restriction gauge as well. This is all in addition to the long time control of the throttle, controls, mechanical fasteners to lock out implements, the rear implement. Product link, we still offer a couple options. We have a cellular only, but we also have the dual mode, the satellite and cell option. That broadcast location hours and basic events that the operator sees in the cab. Thanks for taking time today to learn about the new CAT D9GC dozer. If you would like more information, visit your local CAT dealer or visit us at cat.com. Thank you and have a safe and productive day.